So good morning, we will start out seated. So if you like to sit on the edge of your blanket, I invite you to hold that blanket up and sit towards the front of it. If you like a bolster or a cushion, whatever works for you. And you don't have to be in cross-legged position when we start out seated. It's usually pretty um, challenging to sit cross-legged in the morning because the hips can be tight. So you can have wide leg diamond or legs out in front of you and long leg. Invite you to focus on what I ask you to focus on is your posture. So imagine drawing those hip bones to navel and navel drawing in. And as you sit up nice and tall, roll those shoulders up back and back. So do some work with the shoulders, inhaling them up towards the ears, exhale back and down. Maybe even move the chin left to right. And next time you inhale up, exhale back and down, keep that nice open through chest and collarbones, hands resting on thighs, eyes closed, or take a soft, soft gaze at the floor in front of you. And bring a real intent focus to your breath. Deepening the breath, feeling that cool breath go in through the nose and out through the nose. Your breath goes in. Breath warmed by the body flows out. Slow, steady breath in. Slow, steady breath out, reminding yourself the value and the importance of this slow, steady breath. Increases lung capacity. Works with the muscles involved with breathing, tones those muscles and equally important, invites the nervous system to shift to parasympathetic nervous dom system dominance. Letting our being, our body know we're safe, we can relax. Next time you breathe in, Chin tucked, exhale with a sigh. Ha. Imagine releasing any cares, any worries. Ha. Two more times breathing in, exhale with a sigh. Chin tucked. Ha. Ha. Toning, sounding also tones the vagus nerve. An important part of our nervous system. So it's good to sound. Inhale, lift your head, eyes forward. Noticing room, shapes, colors. And then tuck your chin. Trace a line up the left collarbone to the left shoulder and back down to the center. Inhale, trace a line up the right collarbone to the shoulder and down to center chest. So try to keep going. Find your own rhythm, your own pace of inhale up one collarbone, exhale back to the center of chest. Inhale up the other column, exhale down to the center of chest. So again, find your own rhythm, find your own pace, feeling into the back of the neck. The next time you sweep up that Left collarbone with the left ear dip towards shoulder, pausing for a breath. And exhale down to center of chest. Inhale up that right collarbone, letting the right ear dip towards right shoulder, pausing for a breath. How's that posture? Sitting up tall, rigid style. Let that chin drop towards center of chest. Next time you inhale up that left. Collarbone, ear dips towards shoulder. And then inhale, gentle circle back. Maybe you can hold on to your knees. Right ear dips to right shoulder. And then we come down to center of chest. Inhale up that right collarbone, right ear dips towards shoulder, breathing here. And then inhale, circle back with the head, nice and gentle. Over to the left side, left ear dips, third shoulder, and then we 
crease line down the collarbone to the center of your chest. And keep going. So tracing a line at the right collarbone, circling back, holding on to the knees, over to the left, and down. And then add movement of the torso. So circle the torso around. Maybe you're leaning back, doing a little cat and cow. Maybe you're just focused on torso circling around as the head circles up the collarbone to the ear, back, forward to the other side. And down. Inhaling as you lift that chin up and back. Exhale as you come to the other side and down. <clears throat> One more time, this direction. Pause here, chin tucked. And then reverse the direction of the chin of the circle. So again, this can look like anything you want. You can move those shoulders up, back, and down as you circle around. You can tilt the tailbone again, or just focus on circling, making wide circles with the torso. It's inviting fluidity, looseness in the body. One more circle, and then tuck your chin, pause here. And then you can lift the head, eyes float open, rubbing hands together. <laughs> With the palms together, building some feet. And then we're going to cut the hands over our eyes. This is really nice. It's like you're sending energy of the heart that comes through the palms to the eyes. You can always focus on the ears. We're just tenting the palms, cupping the palms over the eyes and breathing. One more breath here. And then hands float down to the thighs. So let's do a little work with the eyes. So some eye exercises. Inhale, look up to the ceiling. So see if you can just keep the chin level and focus on the eyes moving up, looking left, looking down, looking right, looking up. And again, eyes of left, down, right, and up. And again, left. Down, right, and up. Inhale, take a nice breath in. Exhale, turn it to your left. Gentle twist to start our practice. Right hand on left knee. Left hand behind you. Inhale, length and exhale. Look over your left shoulder. And then eyes look to the right. So head is looking to the left, eyes looking. Inhale, length and exhale, come back to center. Close your eyes and can rest for a little bit. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turning to the right. So now left hand rests on right knee. Right hand is behind you, propped up on the fingertips. Inhale, take some nice long breath as you lengthen the spine. Exhale, turning, looking. To the right, and then eyes look left. So head is turned to the right, eyes looking left. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back to center. Close your eyes, cross your And the third breath, inhale, eyes float open, legs extend long in front of you. They're not already there. Come off the blanket, go faster. Hands beside you, give me a little massage. Hold the back of it. It's warming up the muscles, loosening up the fascia.
Good. And pausing here. Slide those hands behind you. Fingers are quite away. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, roll those shoulders back and down. Really focus on shoulder blades drawing together and down the back. As heart lifts up. And maybe you look to where wall and ceiling. Or maybe if the neck is ready, you look up to the ceiling. Now, a couple of options. If wrists are tender or if you want a deeper experience, you can rest your elbows on blocks and come back and really focus on rolling those shoulders back and moving up. This is only if you feel like your neck is ready. Because it is a deeper, you know, open. Where the wall meets seem or up. We're here on the elbows, elbows can be on the floor as well, or hands behind your fingertips. I kind of like hands on the floor because it really gives you a chance to lift that heart, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades together, like opening through the heart. And walk hands towards you wherever you are. So if you're on your elbows, hands come back to but walk hands closer. Help your knees to bend. Draw those feet nice and closed. Nice stretch for the lower back. Wrap your arms around the shins. And if that doesn't work for your body, you can have hands on your knees. And we're focusing on you. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, hug those knees the size close to chest. And breathe in here. Five breaths. And with that fifth round of breath, we release the knees and swing feet around that kind of table proposition. Remembering that a blanket can be handy if knees are tender, working on the floor. And also roll your mat up either side so you double your mat for the knees if you don't have a blanket again. Good. Inhale, extend right leg long, toe curls on. And with a press through that right heel, pause. Pause here, breathing slow and steady. And as you're doing this, draw that navel up to spine, working with the dogs. Another breath here. And right knee meets left. Inhale, extend left leg long. Toes curl under. Gentle press. Left knee. And as you're working here, you can engage other parts of the body. Knee from the spine. Shoulders moving away from ears. Shoulder blades drawing towards one. And down towards the hip. Another breath here. And left knee meets right. <clears throat> Take a breath in. Exhale, hips press back for child's pose. So hips pressing back towards heels. Walk those hands away from you. Get a nice opening. Your shoulders under the arms. Remember, if this is too much for you, if one shoulder tender, that, that arm can be a cactus or down <laughs> along the side of your leg. Both arms can be cactus or along the left. Imagine the sun up and down the spine. See how cactus feel, uh, child's pose feels for you this morning. And you can stay here in child's pose or inhale, lift up your table. Exhale, we lower down. And work with cobra. So fingertips should be pretty well lined up with the shoulders for cobra. You shift the hips away from shoulders. Cubic bone presses down, hug those elbows to the rib cage. As you inhale, lift up, looking down at your mat. Next inhalation, push into your hands up your table and back to chair. So we do two more rounds of this. 
And again, if you're, it's your choice. Do you want to stay in that child's pose? Or you can come up to table and do cat and cat. Otherwise, we inhale, lift up through table. Heart shifts forward. Hug those elbows close to the rib cage. We lower down onto front body, shifting those hips away from the head. Pubic bone presses down. Hug those elbows. Inhale, lift up. Gazing at the mat. Next time you inhale, push up through table and back. Pose. Last time, we inhale up, get to the top position. Heart shifts forward, hug those elbows close to the rib cage, lower down, forehead resting on the mat, hips shift away from shoulders. Cubic bone presses down to the mat, hug those elbows. Inhale, lift up through table, exhale back. Take a nice breath in here in your child's pose. Exhale, the bend and shift to the right as you walk your fingertips over to the left, feeling a nice side stretch. Breathing here. You have the option of right hand stacking on top of left or an even bigger stretch. That's an option. Inhale back to center. Take a breath here. Next time you breathe in. And so hips should left, fingertips walk over to the right. Feeling the stretch along left side body. Where you are, keep walking with left fingertips, stack that left hand on top of right. Finger stretch. And fingertips walk back to center and pause. And our child goes one more time. And inhale, lift up. Lift up, coming to tabletop position for some cat and cat. Inhale, tilt the tailbone, looking to the top of the mat. Exhale, top tailbone, rounding the spine, top of the chest. Inhale, tilt that tailbone, looking to the top of the mat. Exhale, top of the mat. And one more time we inhale. And exhale. Coming back through center. Inhale, sweep that right leg long. Heel falls out to the right. Navel draws to spine. Inhale, sweep that left arm. So coming to sunbird. Navel to spine, working that sunbird. Drawing that left arm into shoulder socket. And if you care to, you can either stay here or sweep that left arm around, bend the right knee, see if you can find your sock or pant leg on that right side. So for me, right hip is a little tighter. I can't quite find the ankle on the right side. So I find my sock. And we kind of open that right hip out as we draw heel closer to us. That's an option. Or you stay here working with your center. And left hand comes to the mat. Right knee comes to the mat. If you're up for downward facing dog, toes curl under as you breathe in. <laughs> Exhale, hips lift up and back. If you're not up for down dog, stay in tabletop position. If you're in down dog, pedal your heels. And then sweep that right leg up. In down dog or tabletop position, right leg extends and tabletop. the top. If you're in down dog, the right leg lifts up and then we draw the knee to the chest. Shift the weight of the body forward, finding our low lunge. 
So if you're on table, your right leg is extended, and then you bring that right foot forward, however it helps you to come forward. And then we sit up for our low lunge. So right foot is forward enough that the knee rests directly over the ankle. And you could be on the lower setting of the blocks or the higher setting, which gives you the benefit of really being able to roll the shoulders back and down. Yeah. And if you want a deeper stretch in that left thigh, you move the left knee back so it's at a bit of an angle. Breathing here through our low lunge, tuck the tailbone as the heart lifts and the shoulders roll back and down. Then next time you exhale, look at the left hip, left thigh down. Yeah. Next time you exhale, right hip draws back for running stretch. So you move those blocks back, toes stay on the mat, or you lift the toes. Head hangs over right thigh. <clears throat> And shifting blocks forward, we'll come to lizard. So lower that left block down. Right block comes to the side. Heel toe, your left right foot off the mat. Toes off the mat, heel stays on the mat. Left hands are resting on the block. And then we let that left hip be heavy. So nice opening for the right hip, right inner thigh. Come on the higher setting of the block if that's where your lizard is. And let's get a little circling with that knee out and around, which results in a circling of the hip, the thigh bone in the hips. And then pause here. Maybe you come on to the outer edge of that right foot. And then lifting up heel to that foot back onto the mat. We can back up to our low lunge. Right foot stacked over right ankle. Tailbone tucks, heart lifts, shoulders roll back. And then curl those left toes under. Lift that left knee up. Right hand finds the right thigh. Left hand finds the right thigh. We lower the left foot down, finding our warrior two. So however you get up, get up safely. That left foot is flat on the mat. It's in the center of the mat. Right heel intersects arch of the back. So, Nancy, your front foot comes to line up with the middle of the ass. And Vanessa, can you move that left foot a little more center on that? Yes. Beautiful. And that right knee bends. We roll the shoulders up, back, and down, drawing those shoulder blades together and down the back. Keeping the arms level with shoulder. Look at arms level with shoulder as we gaze forward over front leg to the Left, uh, excuse me, right knee is bent, reaching towards pinky toe. Right knee is bent, reaching towards pinky toe. Moving into triangle pose. So front leg moves to straight, arms come down. You have the option of using a block and try to either inside the foot or outside the foot. Front leg is moving to straight. Hands come to hip crease and shift those hips back and forward, feeling how that is and have the hips shift back. Next time the hips are shifted back, pause there. Really exaggerate it, hips shifting back. And then arms extend, just like in Warrior Two. But we reach the right fingertips, reach, reach, reach. And then those right fingertips find the block as we spiral the ribs towards the ceiling. 
Now, remember, you can keep your hand on your hip and focus on left shoulder rolling back and down. That's a very acceptable triangle. Right leg moving towards straight, hips are shifted back. Left hand on the hip or extend that left arm, palm faces away. Push into the feet. Inhale, lift up. Keep that front leg moving towards straight. So come on up out of your triangle, reaching those fingertips up to the ceiling and back behind you. Coming up out of your triangle. There you go. Keep that front leg moving towards straight, hips shifted back. We're going to extend arms again, coming into reverse triangle with a different way. Bend your left elbow and rest it on the lower back. Now, not everybody's going to work. This isn't going to work for everybody. So maybe your hand is on the hip. Flip your palm. Scoop out, up, and back. Reverse triangle. Maybe you're looking down at your left shoulder. Inhale, we come back through our warrior two. So front knee bends, arms level with shoulder, gazing over front knee. Warrior two. Back arm, cartwheels up, and we come back down to our low lunge. If you want to come back through down dog, go right ahead. I'm going to lead it where you bring your right knee back to meet left. And we find child's pose this time with arms alongside legs. <coughs> Slowing the breath down. And then inhale, lift up, come back up through your tabletop position. And we'll move through that sequence on the other side. So we inhale, left leg long, heel falls out to the side. Drawing navel to spine, inhale, sweep the right arm out, draw arm into shoulder side. Navel to spine and sunburn. Gazing down at your mat, so the spine is long. Stay here, working with sunburn, or you can sweep that right arm around, bending left knee, binding left ankle, and either focus on drawing that heel closer to the tailbone, or opening out a little bit to the right. Whatever works for you, sunbird or a version of scorpion. Sunburn over here. And then right hand comes down, left knee comes down. If you want to lift up to down dog, go right ahead through down dog, toes curled under, hips up and back. If you want to stay in tabletop, stay in tabletop, and we'll all extend that left leg long. Get down dog, left leg extends long. If you're in tabletop position, left leg extends long. And on your next exhalation, bring that left foot forward, finding low lunge on the side. <clears throat> so left foot is forward enough. That when we bend that left knee, it's stacked directly over it. Beautiful. Roll those shoulders back and down as you tuck the tailbone heart. Right hip, right thigh are heavy. Keeping here.
Next time you inhale, exhale, left hip crease draws back. Find your runner stretch blocks. Move back so your hands are on your shoulder. Toes stay on the floor. Or they lift up like a leader. And shift back through your lunge. Left knee step over ankle. And then lower your right block down. Move the left block away. So that as left hand comes to the block inside your left foot, you can heel toe. That left foot to the side. So toes are off the mat, left heel on the mat. We sink down, letting that left hip left in the thigh be heavy. Sinking down. Feeling into your lizard. So you can be on the highest setting or a lower setting. You can have that option of coming up at elbows. And let's circle that left knee out and around a few times. And if you're on your elbows, lift up onto the palm and then heel toe back onto the mat with that lift. Right toes curl under, lift your knee off the mat. Find your steady base, so be pressing in the base of the front foot, toes of the left, back foot rather. Left hand finds the thigh, right hand finds the thigh, and we lift up, placing right foot on the mat. And then open through your warrior two. So check your alignment. You want that front heel to intersect the arch of the back foot. So back foot should be in the center of the mat, nice. And when you bend that left knee, knees directly over the ankle, and reaching towards pinky toe. So reach that left knee towards pinky toe on the left side. Yeah. So Nancy, bring that heel in if you want. Front heel, yeah, that's it. Three more. Yes, beautiful. Working with our warrior two, inhale, exhale, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Notice how you can then draw your shoulder blades a little closer. We gaze over front middle finger. And then arms float down, front leg moves towards straight. Putting your block in position if you like to use a block for triangle, either behind the foot or inside. Hands come to hip crease. We work with those hips, shift them forward and back. Hips shift back, front leg moves to straight. So it's mostly straight. If you get by micro bend in that knee, have a micro bend in that knee. Inhale, arms sweep up to shoulder height. Exhale. Inhale, reach those fingertips forward, 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 and then come find your block and rotate. Ribs spiraling up towards ceiling. Right hand could be on the hip, focusing on rolling right shoulder back. Or arm extended and notice the neck. So you can either gaze straight ahead, not up, or down at the foot. Pushing into your feet, reach those right fingertips up to the ceiling, lifting up out of your triangle pose, setting up for reverse triangle. So front of the, so the front leg still is moving to straight, it's still shifting back. We bend that right elbow, rolling right shoulder back, so you can rest the lower um, arm on the lower back. And then we flip the palm and scoop out up. And back for reverse triangle. Pushing in the base of the front foot, outer edge of the back. Come back through your warrior two. So front knee is bent, reaching towards pinky toe. The important part of this is reach that front knee towards pinky toe on the left foot. And then we'll inhale, left arm up, cartwheeling. Coming back down into your low lunge. 
And then left foot, left knee, come back. And decide, you want to come back to your child's pose. Put arms alongside legs. <clears throat> or would you prefer puppy stretch? So a puppy stretch, hips stay stacked over knees. You walk hands away. <laughs> and lengthen, maybe walking knees back a little bit to get more of a stretch. <clears throat> Your option, puppy stretch or child's pose. Three breaths. At the end of your third round, lift your head up however you want to come to your forward fold, whether it's for down dog or simply walking hands close to knees and lifting hips up. We come to our forward fold as a way to safely come up to standing. So inhale, palms find the thighs, and we press up. Sweeping arms up and pause. Coming to the top of the mat if you're not there already. Um, arms come down alongside you. I'm going to offer a couple of options for half moon. Option number one is right hand on right hip. Sweep the left arm up. And as hips press left, we roll that left shoulder back, reach the fingertips up over the head. Side stretch. So that's option number one. If it's too much for the left arm, hand can be behind the head. Elbow reaching up. The other option is both arms are extended. We steeple the hands, so thumb cross, cross finger, index fingers point up. Inhale, getting length. Exhale, hips crisp left as we reach up and over to the right. So a lot of options. Final option is hands behind the head. It doesn't have that work to have the arms fully extended. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, arms sweep down. And we come to yoga mudra. So clasping hands behind you or finding opposite wrist. Roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, heart reaches forward, knees in. Pushing into the feet, come up. Arms sweep out and up. We find half moon for the other side. So if you want, arms are up. First finger steeple, thumbs cross. Or hands can be behind head. Or left hands on hip. As we reach up to the ceiling, hips press right. Arm or arms reach up and over to the left. So maybe right here. Focusing on rolling that right shoulder back. Both feet grounded. Inhale, come back up for center. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Knees bend, finding rag dogs, like to find opposite elbows. <coughs> Forehead rests on the forearms. Knees are bent. Breathing here, letting release through the lower back and neck. Three slow, steady breaths. And then inhale, hands find the thighs. We lengthen it tight, hugging elbows to the ground. Lengthen. Pushing into the feet and come up. Arms sweep up. And pause. Next time you exhale, let the hands float down. And we're going to build mountain pose, a more engaged mountain pose than we often come to. From the feet up. So toes press into the mat, heels press into the mat. Take a slight lift of the arch, gentle bend in the knees, 
engaging quadriceps, draw those kneecaps towards hips. Engaging quadriceps, kneecaps drawing up to hips. Squeeze the glutes, hip bones drawing the navel. Navel draws in, shoulders roll back, neck. So again, we're engaging quadriceps, drawing kneecaps to hips. Engaging abdominals, hip bones and navel, navel draws it in. Squeezing glutes, we're broad through collarbones. And as we're engaged, can we also soften? Soften the jaw, the tongue, eyebrows, forehead. Too soft. One more breath here in this engaged mouth. And then release, let it all soften. All soften as you close your eyes. Noticing the difference. Attraction, soften. All right, friends, moving to some balance work. So finding a spot on the wall or a chair if that's helpful for you. We're simply stepping off here. <clears throat> we'll work with the left side. So wall, chair along the left side. So strong left leg. We shift the weight of the body into that left leg as the right toe balances. Use that wall if you need. First, we inhale, right knee up. Exhale, open it out to the side. And then sole of the foot finds the inside of the leg. Maybe it's up here, the thigh. Maybe it's the calf. Or maybe your toe finds the foot. So we're working with tree pose again. Use that wall if you Half prayer, if you're using the wall, full prayer, if you're not at the wall. Wherever your tree pose is, either. Use your abdominals to help you stay steady. Navel the spine. Gazing at a spot on the floor or the wall. Using your drishti to help you stay focused. Put aside to want to extend arms or keep hands in prayer. With control, palms come together. We all end up in prayer as we lower that right knee down. It's feeling into that strong tree trunk on the left side. Engage. And to the outer side. So wall on the long side, the right side. The way the body shifts into that right leg, left toe balance, let's find the wall or your chair. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, open it out to the side. And then sole the foot finds the leg, finds the inside of the leg. So maybe shift it up here to the side. Or lower, or even the toe finds the ground. And we either come to full prayer or half prayer if you're using the wall. And again, use your prompts. Abdominals engaged. Focusing your gaze. Come out of your tree, build from the bottom up. So start with toe on the ground and then try to do the toe. With control, with arms are extended, more and then. Left foot finds the ground, feel into that right tree trunk. All right. Come on down onto your backs, onto your backs. Hugging knees to chest. Okay. 
gentle rock of the knees, massage the low, lower back. Feet find the mat, wedging your palms underneath your hips. So palms face down. They support the lower back just below the hips. And then we extend the legs up into the air. So you can work with a half water wheel or full water. So for half water wheel, Right leg extends long, the heel lowers down and hovers over the mat. You're engaging abdominals, navel to spine. And then heel draws the buttocks, knee bends, and we extend leg and begin again. So, just as it sounds, water wheel. Right leg lowers, hovers just above the mat, heel buttocks, and then leg extends. And then you can alter this, maybe do two on each side. Keep that navel to spine, drawing that lower back towards the mat. <coughs> or we work with both legs. Inhale as you lower, navel to spine. Exhale, heels the butt, essentially the spine. Again, alternating legs or both legs. Lower. Heels, buttocks, and extend. One more round with everyone. And then extend the legs up in the air. Just pause here for six breaths. Legs extend up into the air. And then feet come down onto the mat, lifting up, hug knees to chest. <coughs> and then extend the legs long, arms extended overhead, reaching the fingertips of the leg. Nice full body stretch, slowing our practice down. And then roll over onto front body. So however you want to get there, roll over on the front body. With arms extended overhead, kind of like Superman pose. Forehead resting on that. <clears throat> Keep the bone reaching down to the mat. As you lift right arm and left leg. Head can lift, or you can keep that forehead on the mat. And then lower. Inhale, enable the spine. Exhale, lift that left arm, right leg. And again, maybe you lift your head a few inches, but gazing down at the mat. And lower. So alternating right arm, left leg, lift. Holding, navel to spine, and lower. Lifting left arm, right leg, and lifts a few inches off the mat. And lower. So alternating or full engagement, head and shoulders, knees and toes go off the mat, gazing down at your mat. And lower. So moving in and out, <coughs> strengthening muscles of the back. And then pause. Stack your hands, one cheek rests on one stacked hands, <coughs> bending the knees, windshield wipers to the left and right. 
nice massage for the quad or <coughs> As we invite release the hips and lower back. And then decide how you want to complete your practice today in terms of movement, posture, stretching. Maybe you like to flip onto your back and hug knees to chest. Or press up and back into your child's pose, a puppy stretch, or some other kind of movement. Just sort of see where the body wants to go. As you are, I'll move right in and out for three more rounds. And then making your way to Shavasana. Relaxation pose, right? That looks like for you. <coughs> Covering up. Your body temperature will like to slow it up. You're moving. Settling down, settling in. Yeah, it's nice to put something under the knees to support the little back. <coughs> Giving yourself over to gravity. Noticing where back of the head Touches your mat. Feeling shoulders touching your mat. Feeling upper back. Feeling middle back touching your mat. Lower back. Feeling the sacrum, that triangle, the base of the spine, touching the neck. Feeling buttocks, touching the neck. Feeling back of the legs, thighs, calves. And feeling heels. <clears throat> Arms resting beside you. Palms face up or down. Taking a few moments in silence. Integrate. Absorb the benefits of the practice. Come back to your body. Back to your breath if you mind your own.
the sound of the bell in the back that more flow into the body. Breathe in the breath. Inviting another moment of stillness. Honoring coming into solstice on the 21st when the sun sits still shift and rash towards more light, more daylight. Combining the energy of the solstice, the light into our bodies, into our beings. So the more light and more Wiggling fingers and toes. Maybe reach arms overhead, stretching them. And then hug this to chest. <coughs> Rolling to one side, pausing. And with eyes closed, your soft feet slowly pressing up. When you're ready, you don't have to finish practicing as I'm leaving it. You can stay there resting or press up with eyes closed. <coughs> Finding your comfortable seat. Again, body in stillness. Remembering how it is to be present and still. Honoring the sun, the return of the light will sweep the arms up, tracing the shape of the sun, pausing with fingertips, touching the head. Take a breath in. Exhale, clearing that which doesn't serve from our energy field, hands to prayer position. 
bowing to self, honoring self, letting the heart light be the breath. May you have a lovely rest of your week. Celebrate Christmas. May you have a delightful Christmas weekend. Happy solstice, happy new year. We'll be, take a break for two weeks, starting up again Janani. Not the second, but the ninth. And I do want to send a heartfelt thank you to all of you for being a part of this yoga class. I appreciate each and every one of you, your presence. Thank you. Your hearts. May you be well. Kind of a lot more quickly than that. Uh, you've had some past years for me. Thank you, Martha. You're welcome, and be well. You too. Happy holidays. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. Happy holidays. <laughs> Bye, friends at home. So this is the last step.